Welcome to my latest painting update. The rain is hammering on the roof, the sky is full of helicopters, Storm Dennis has been racking us all night, and here we are with religious zealots and the march of death, or the triumph of death. Whatever. Skeletons. I'm going to start with the zealots because they're at the front. These are Games Workshop miniatures, uh, presumably for more time originally. I've got, um, <clears throat> excuse me, I got six, um, I think, third generation zealots and one from the, the second batch. So this chap at the back here, there he is, he's a bit bigger than the rest and he matches the four I've already done. Um, and I think with him, I've now got the whole set of them. Um, does that? Oh yeah, there we go. So he's nice and chunky, and he's got all his um, all his zealot paraphernalia on. And then to go with him, there are these chaps who are a little bit smaller, um, and a bit more adorned with stuff. So um, they make quite a nice little procession let's let's start with this guy um they've got more religious texts and what have you and if you if i put them next to each other let's try that and that. you can see this this guy here is a, quite a bit chunkier and he's a little bit taller um but nothing that is uh you know nothing game breaking quite happy with that so, okay, so there's Alex, so there's the guy, there's him, and him, and him, trying to keep these in frame, chat with the bell, a couple more flails, uh, there we go, lovely set, so this gives me um, 11 altogether, which is a bit of an odd number, there you go, I might be missing one or two from this set, but I don't think so, I've trawled eBay and I haven't seen any extras. Anyway, I've probably got enough now. So um, I'm done with zealots for the moment. There they are, 12 zealots. Let's move them off to the side. And then Let's go on to the skeletons. Okay, so these are from Skull and Crown miniatures. Um, they are, to me, very reminiscent of the um, old minifigs Valley of the Four Winds skeletons, which many of you will be far too young to remember. Um, these are actually taken directly from medieval renaissance paintings um, I presume by Peter Brogel or someone similar um, and they're just brilliant they're full of um, full of character full of I mean you know here's a fish look fish oh no fish that's um look it's carrying a, a fish with a crown lovely I read an article once about more time where the fish was a symbol for the soul so maybe he's carrying a giant soul um and there are musicians and then there's a command set um i made a little flag out of black paper and pva um and they've got renaissance styling armor and floppy hats there we go get my fingers out of the shop um oh there we are so I bought the um, three personality packs. Uh, they're a unit pack. I don't want need units of skeleton spearmen or whatever. But the personalities are, are brilliant and, and fit nicely with my fantasy swashbuckling renaissance RPG that we're running at the moment. Um, so uh, and I have I have skeletons already. I have some classic Greek skeletons from uh, Bronze Age miniatures. So I've got 10 of them and a seated guy on the throne. 
um, and they used to be my skeletons but now I can trot out these are more eerie the original ones I've got from bronze uh, bronze age miniatures are the classic Jason and the Argonauts ones uh, these are obviously much more European uh, and these to my mind are just more creepy so um, these are a great find um, and there's more coming uh, these were funded I think by two or three Kickstarters none, none of which I backed but um, they're making their way onto the Skull and Crown web shop at the moment and um, I'm looking forward to picking more up so they, that was nice um, I'll put in a still picture of these guys next to um, some sort of modern figures they are big they're not like the games workshop ones if we can I get two of them at the front let me just give you a quick idea see he's they're perfectly compatible I'm not a fan of small figures I don't like painting them I'm not very good at painting them they don't look nice when I've done them frankly they're depressing just going to move all these out of the way this is a one take video because the weather's so hideous I want to get back into the main house and uh, start editing and we're left with move him to the middle okay so we're left with medieval rabbits these are also from skull and crown and they're taken from the illustrations and the margins of medieval illuminated manuscripts um, and they're brilliant and he uh, he sent them to me as freebies because the postage was so exorbitant from America for the skeletons so that was really nice and um, he's done himself a favor because I've now got a list of quite a few more of these rabbits that um, that I want to get there's a wonderful set of them attacking monks uh, appear to be tearing their clothes off so maybe rabbits represent baser instincts there's a rabbit hunting party where there's one with a falcon and stuff anyway um when i get them they'll be painted and they'll be. and behind them uh, is another 3d printed resin miniature i bought off ebay of a sort of tree chap and he's going to be my rabbit root god or she or he that's yeah um i originally i hoped to do these inset swirls I was going to do them all with glowing interior light and do you know what they're too small and I can't be bothered so I did it a sort of bare wood color gave it a bit of blue light which doesn't show particularly well because uh, but a bit of blue light in the, the eyes and the chest cavity and the neck cavity and that will be a forest spirit to uh, help defend these frankly belligerent rabbits um, so there we go that was this week a weekly update a week after i said i'd do two weekly updates um here we are every week um what did i do there are 12 skeletons three in the rabbit group and seven yeah so that's 20 hmm there's some more somewhere i thought i had 23 12 and 7 14 21 22 maybe i'm missing someone uh okay if i'm missing someone there might be an extra next week but for the moment that's uh that's this week's painting as always thank you for watching um i'm gonna insert the obligatory please like and subscribe and share because apparently that helps things but i always feel like i'm begging for attention if i do that so you don't feel you have to um if you do subscribe and you hit the little bell you'll see when i update videos um because i don't do it on a regular basis sometimes it's a week sometimes two weeks sometimes it might be six weeks because i'm rubbish so um okay that's it for this week uh i'll see you next time